All right, so I recently posted this trade on my Telegram channel as well. So if you're interested, please make sure to go ahead and join my group, right? Uh, it's completely free. Let's get into Bitcoin. Uh, it's really interesting what's happening with Bitcoin. Uh, the, the trade setup that I discussed earlier, uh, the fractal basically that I discussed in yesterday's video, I gave you an update as to what's happening, right? The, the fractal was invalidated, but in yesterday's video, I did explain uh, the possibility of a triple tap setup. All right, so as you can see here, I explained my triple tap setup and then I give you this trade setup where I would be shorting Bitcoin here and we'll be booking profits around the FEG. And as you can see here so far, things are looking pretty good here for Bitcoin. Uh, what I think is gonna happen next, like although like there was a part of me which was expecting Bitcoin price to go up and uh, probably tag the H1 FEG, but since that's not tagged, uh, I wanna see how things progress, right? Uh, on a Actually, on a one-hour time frame, let's take a look at what's happening here. Because this particular run up that we saw here was responsible for taking out the highs uh, formed on 31st of July. So technically, on a one-hour time frame, this does look like a good. Yep, there is no demand zone here. So this does look like a good H3 demand zone. Like although, like this is me. I, I wanted to add a lot of size. I only opened a, sh a very small position here because I was expecting Bitcoin price to go all the way up to the H1 FEG, right? But uh, so due to my expectations, like not, not to my expectations, I, I kind of feel like I, I want Bitcoin price to go up. So if there is a chance for Bitcoin price to go up and retest this level again, I think this is it, right? But if this level fails to hold, then we're gonna be back at the 200 weekly SMA, probably consolidate again, like uh, we did a few days ago. Or in the case of what happened here, we could just break through that, uh, flip it into a resistance level and then break down, right? So not nothing's changed really for Bitcoin. Uh, the levels that I'm looking at uh, are pretty much the same. If you wanna know more about uh, my take on the Bitcoin, please make sure to go ahead and watch yesterday's video that I did. It's, it is a very in-depth analysis of Bitcoin. So let's get into Actually, that's pretty much it for Bitcoin, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed this analysis, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.